Josef Mengele was born in Gunzburg on the Danube in 1911. A well-behaved child. His father was rich, a manufacturer of farm machinery. His son was conscious of his class, a bon vivant. In the Café Mada, the meeting place in Gunzburg, he held court, caring more for socializing than politics. This man changed all that. Hitler was the idol of the Mengele family. Also, of course, because he promised to support the German farmers, upon whom Mr. Mengele depended for his livelihood. But Josef did not want to inherit the business. He wanted to make his own way. At Munich University, Josef Mengele dreamt of fame as a doctor and researcher. Hitler's racist mania was new to him, but acceptable in scientific garb. He studied anthropology. It was intended to furnish the official proof that all non-Aryan races are inferior, a basic doctrine of Nazi ideology. and their own immorality. It was to end here. His hopes would be fulfilled here. One day people will know my name. In Frankfurt, the young doctor helped to develop the medical concept of the Aryan as an assistant to the passionately committed geneticist, Professor Ottmar von Verschuer, as the willing instrument of a man who wanted the super race. Racial purity was determined by the authorities. Are you Aryan or Jewish? The young Dr. Mengele wrote expert medical reports. An early selection. As yet, without the final solution. Incapable of living as a member of the community, you are unwelcome. Those who were capable of living as members of the community marched to the beat of the times. The doctors were represented. They were to breed the master race. Was wir so besser haben, das wissen wir selbst. Und was Menschen besser können, das werden wir besser. Mengele wanted to get somewhere fast. In those days, that was only possible in the SS. The SS, the regime's black order. The executors of his deluded racial elitism. The SS had to give its consent when Mengele married in the summer of 1939. A honeymoon on the island of Sylt. Holiday greetings from Josef and Irena Mengele, and many thanks for the pretty bowl. It could have been so different if it hadn't been for the war. His wife would later say with conviction, he was always such a nice man. He was amable, Mengele was... Eh, sí, muy, 
muy agradable y de, de buena educación, ¿no? de siempre correcto en, sus, en su trato personal, ¿no? No era agresivo, si había algún error en el trabajo o algo, no, él, no era, digamos, así colérico, que se enojaba, no, no, él era comprensible, ¿no? En 1939, un film set the mood for what was to follow. In Deutschland allein müssen über 700 Millionen Mark jährlich für solche Unglücklichen aufgebracht werden. Examples from the animal kingdom were meant to prove why the weak had to be killed. In contrast to the heroic, racially pure human type. Nur ein gesundes und starkes Volk wird leben und Werte schaffen zum Segen der Nation und zum Segen der Welt. In Germany, there unfolded an unprecedented internal war in which more and more doctors became executioners. It began with sterilization and abortion and ended in murder. They called it the destruction of all who are unworthy of life, so-called euthanasia. Murder a hundred thousandfold. Medicine in step with the dictatorship. Now white coats were a uniform too. No longer was the oath to Hippocrates, but to the absolute ruler. Unscrupulousness, lack of all conscience. Under cover of war, all barriers came down. From then on, they were available. The propaganda called them Untermenschen, subhumans, which medicine would help against typhus. The answer: human guinea pigs. How does the human body react to extreme altitudes? The answer: human guinea pigs. The headquarters for the exploitation of the human body was the Kaiser Wilhelm Institute. Professor Ottmar von Verschuer. He wanted to use twins to decipher the code of life and applied for extensive research funding. Professor Sauerbruch gave his approval. To a crime? And that's what me, uh, natürlich, bedrückt is that. Ein Mann, der glaubte, Wissenschaft äh, als Hilfe für Menschen zu betreiben, eine Wissenschaft betrieb, die dann zum Verderben von Menschen führte. Dr. Mengele returned here in the summer of 1942. He had this behind him. As an SS medical officer in the East, he had performed daily selections. He had decided which of the wounded were able to survive and which were not. Suddenly there was a burst of light and there was noise. Of course, it was chaos. Das war in der Nacht 2 Uhr. Wann wir sind heraus von Waggon, haben wir gehört, aber das war so schnell geteilt. Die Männer extra, die, die Eltern und die Kinder. Und ein, in einer Minute war alles zerteilt. Und ich habe gehört und mein Bruder auch gehört, dass man ruft: Zwillinge, Zwillinge. Zwillinge raus. Schnell, verfluchte Jude. Raus, raus. Kulam ist, wenn du lazetas uns sagst. Du warst im Mitzadechad, 
נשים וילדים מצד אחד, ולהסתדר בטורים, בשורות בשורות. וכך עמדנו כולם, את כולם קיבל מנגלה, שהוא בפוזה נפוליאונית כזאת עמד והפריד בין נשים. מי שהיה יכול להיות ארבעץ קראפט, כלומר כוח עבודה, הוא היה הולך לצד זה, היה אדם צעיר. ומי שהלך לצד זה, נידון למוות. אנחנו היינו ילדים, לא היינו נחשבים לארבעץ קראפט, הלכנו לצד זה. Und muss man wissen, im Milieu von Auschwitz, wo, man eben, wo jeder Arzt nicht wahr, damit konfrontiert war, dass er in einem bestimmten Rhythmus so und so viele tausend Menschen bestimmen muss, so rechts oder links, in, da war das, das, das war Alltag. Er hat kein Wort gesagt. Eine Irgendwelche Arie, Opernarie, so leise gefiffen und wie, wie wenn er dirigiert hätte, ein Orchester dirigiert hätte. Rechts und links und rechts und rechts und links und links. Er war ein Erznazi, aber mit einem Unterschied. Denn der, das Wesen der Nazis war ja zu sagen, die Juden sind degeneriert, sie sind äh, also auch körperlich minderwertig und so weiter. Während Mengele der Meinung war, es gibt nur zwei begabte Völker auf der Welt, das sind die Deutschen und die Juden. Und eines dieser beiden Völker muss die Welt beherrschen und er will, dass die Deutschen die Welt beherrschen und nicht die Juden. Und er hat sich sehr gesagt, was ist nun meine Pflicht wirklich? Ist es meine Pflicht, das zu tun, wofür ich angetreten bin, nämlich die, die Juden zu vernichten? Oder gibt es auch noch irgendwelche andere äh, Aspekte, die zu berücksichtigen sind? Mengele's favorite tune, which he often whistled absent-mindedly, in front of the twins of Auschwitz. The daily program begins with the theater. You are staying before the barrack many hours, and if someone is not uh, here, they are making more and more time to find the, the people, and also the dead people was putting in the front from the barrack. And after uh, the theater, they are to, uh, taking the children, uh, the twins, to the laboratory. Uh, the first experiments were by comparing, comparing all parts of body, like eyes and sides and noses and, and everything external, was just compare. And this took many, many hours and many days. In this world behind barbed wire lived hundreds of twins. On call, Mengele's human zoo. But their fate was not sealed from the start. They were the chosen because they belonged to Mengele. He, however, was the real ruler in the kingdom of the dead. Sie haben früher alle gelacht, diese Juden. Sie haben das für einen Spaß gehalten. Sie lachen heute nicht mehr. Sie wissen, es ist ein blutiger Ernst geworden. Und Sie wissen auch, dass es hier gar kein Pardon gibt. The instigator of all this never saw the scene of the crime. Hitler had never heard of Mengele, but the doctor of death was nonetheless his henchman. Uh, 
הג'ינגל, היום אנחנו יודעים, באותו, אחרי כמה ימים ידענו מי זה דוקטור מנגל. הוא היה אדם מרשים, גבוה, יפה, והוא עבר כל בוקר בצריף. את מנגלה? בוודאי, הוא היה גבר יפה, צעיר, סביב עד גיל שלושים, משהו כזה. והוא היה בדרך כלל עדין. הוא אמר תמיד, אי פינפטר פון ליצולינגן. ואם ביקשו משהו, הוא אומר, יבוא, יבוא. לקח פנקס, רשם את כל הפרטים, ובערב לקחו את הבן אדם ויותר לא ראינו. אז סימן שהרגו אותו. hat man da eben kein Kaninchen genommen, sondern man hat die Menschen genommen. Wir waren sicher nicht teurer und äh, man hatte nicht den Vorwurf zu haben, dass man einen Tierversuch äh, aufgesessen ist, sondern dass man also wirklich ganz konkret das war. Also das zu rechtfertigen, dass man sie vorher noch zu wissenschaftlichen Versuchen ausnutzt, nicht wahr? das äh, geht in dem Milieu von Auschwitz absolut als normal unter. Nur der Starke setzt sich durch. Und alles, was schwach ist, muss ausgewerzt werden, damit der Starke wirklich äh, überleben kann. Murder and war, they became one. In the summer of 1944, Hitler's soldiers had to carry on fighting to provide cover for the Holocaust. And Mengele? Das war schon so September 44. Ja. Und da traf ich ihn irgendwie zufällig auf der Lagerstraße. Und er sagt, ah, oh, hallo Frau Kollegin, sagen Sie, habe ich Ihnen schon mal meine Ergebnisse meiner wissenschaftlichen Arbeiten gezeigt? Und ich habe gesagt, nein, Herr Hauptschirmführer, haben Sie nicht. Ja, also kommen Sie mit, ich zeige es Ihnen. Und da gab es solche Blätter mit sehr sauberen Zeichnungen und sehr schön, ein ganz dicker Aktenordner. Und das habe ich so durchgeblättert und ich habe mir immer die ganze Zeit gedacht, warum muss ich das jetzt anschauen? Nicht? Und äh, ist das nicht schön, hat er bei einzelnen Bildern gesagt, ist das nicht schön? Wie wir haben genickt, so, hm, nicht so gemacht. Und dann war ich fertig. Und wie ich fertig bin mit dem Ganzen, klappt er das zu und sagt, na, ist das nicht schade, dass das jetzt alles den Bolschewiken in die Hände fallen wird? January 1945, the Red Army was advancing west. As Stalin's soldiers drew closer, the doctor of Auschwitz packed his things. Then I thought, ah, naturally, he shows me this so that I, when I survive, I am a witness of the fact that it was completely normal scientific anthropological experiments. And everything else I did not see. And he was already prepared for that. He knew that the war was lost. I think that Mengele has not time to think about the war. all the experiment and you know that he want to uh, to kill in the gas camel all the twins because one day they took the children to the crematorium and taking out the clothes and uh, after 10 minutes they say you can go What is happened? The cyclone B is finished. It's, they have not more cyclone B, so they cannot kill the children. And in the documentation from uh, Auschwitz, in the museum, is a list from people is writing uh, Mengele that these people died and. Everybody me is in this list, so you know that is a miracle that you are in, in life. On January the 17th, 1945, a cold winter's night, SS Hauptsturmführer Dr. Mengele left the scene of his crimes at Auschwitz with all his research data on twins.
after liberation. Of Mengele's 3,000 twins, 180 survived. The nightmare was over. SS Hauptsturmführer Josef Mengele took cover among the millions of prisoners as a common Wehrmacht soldier. He had changed his uniform. The Americans were out of their depth. How do you identify a Nazi war criminal? The Allies, the Americans specifically, used a kind of litmus test to determine who was a member of the SS and who wasn't. And they took advantage of the fact that the SS men had tattooed under their left arm um, their blood type in case they were wounded in battle, um, so that there was a very straightforward method for identifying those who were in the SS and those who weren't. That was people took off their shirts and raised their hands. And uh, Mengele did not have the blood type tattoo, and therefore was spared identification through this rather simple, but in most cases, effective means. Mongolding, a small village near Rosenheim in Upper Bavaria. Mengele went to ground at Fischer's farm. He called himself Fritz Holman. Gott, das ist halt einer, haben wir gedacht, der nach dem Krieg, was halt so ist, die suchen Arbeit, gell, sie wissen nicht, wo sie was, was hin sollen oder wir haben vielleicht keine Heimat mehr und so. Und da ist er halt irgendwo geschaut, hat er geschaut, dass er irgendwo runterkommt, dass er ein Dach über dem Kopf hat. The doctor became a farmhand, mucking out the stables and making selections of potatoes. He slept here. From a safe distance, the doctor of death followed the Nuremberg trial. He knew it was only a matter of time before his murderous deeds were revealed. What would have been his sentence? No doubt. I mean, he, would have, he would have received the, the uh, ultimate uh, sentence. Summer 1946. American headquarters in Augsburg received orders from the very top. Find Mengele and arrest him. The search concentrated on his old hometown of Günzburg, on the wife of the doctor of death. Irena Mengele was questioned by the military police several times. But time and again, the grieving wife dressed in black insisted, my husband is dead. The alleged widow played her role consistently and convincingly. Nearly every day, Irena went to church and prayed fervently for the soul of her dead husband. The Americans watched Mrs. Mengele but obviously not closely enough. Irena and Josef met regularly at various secluded places near the farm where he worked. Irena urged her husband to flee, but the doctor of death hesitated. Still. His colleagues in court at the end of 1946 murderers in white coats. Would Mengele have tried to talk his way out too? But there was no doctor who was tried then who, who was tried for the kind of the kind of science, so-called science, that Mengele practiced. So Mengele would have been a great symbol to have put into the, the, doc at, at the doctor's trial. He wasn't. The explanation that we came up for this is because the people involved in the investigation and prosecution of the doctor's trial believed that Mengele was dead.
Farmhand Mengele did not know of his good fortune. He was driven by fear. Hope was the sign of the times, but he ignored it. Kurz nach der Währungsreform macht die Kamera einen Bummel über den Wochenmarkt und fängt dabei Bilder ein, die noch vor kurzer Zeit wie Trugbilder gewirkt hätten. Gemüse in Hülle und Fülle, alles frisch und zum Aussuchen und Ware von bester Qualität. Man fragt nach dem Preis, kauft und geht befriedigt nach Hause. Mit der Währungsreform wurde über Nacht auch das Obst reif. Auch hier blüht das Geschäft. Die Auswahl ist groß, die Bedienung freundlich. Es gibt mit einem Male wieder Dinge, von denen man bisher nur im Flüsterton sprach, die nur unter dem Ladentisch veräußert wurden. Jetzt ist Geld wieder alles. For Mengele too. Money for his escape from fear. On Easter Saturday 1949, the SS doctor left his country idyll. His first stop, Innsbruck. A well-paid gang of smugglers had organized everything, even accommodation near the station. No one here asked who he was and where he wanted to go. Easter Sunday, April the 17th, 1949, shortly before 6 p.m. The local train from Innsbruck to the top of the Brenner Pass took just under an hour for the climb. At the last station before Italy, the mass murderer got out. A smuggler showed him an unguarded stretch of border. At a safe distance from the official border crossing, Mengele entered Italy on an old smuggler's path. Sterzing. In the picturesque Alpine village, contact man Nino was waiting at the Inn of the Golden Cross. A forged South Tyrolean passport gave Mengele a new identity. Under the name Helmut Gregor, the child murderer continued his journey to Genoa. Here he exchanged his South Tyrolean passport for an ID card from the International Red Cross. As a refugee, Mengele could now go wherever he wanted. This man hatched the escape plan, Hans Sedelmeier, company secretary in the Mengele family firm. July the 18th, 1949, off to Argentina, four and a half years since Auschwitz. Buenos Aires, safe harbor for the doctor of death. From now on, he was on his own. Helmut Gregor hired a taxi, which dropped him off at the Palermo Hotel. A simple lodging for new migrants, who were attempting to give their lives a new meaning. The dictator Juan Perón admired Nazi efficiency. Colonel Rudel, a famous pilot, was the eminence grise in the extensive Nazi network in Buenos Aires and a close friend of Perón's. We must go from that point to the first time human rights, moral and so on had played no role in the time. Wenn man damals in dieses Land kam und hatte Geld, dann konnte man sich Unabhängigkeit kaufen, die er brauchte. Er musste unabhängig sein und bleiben. You can buy independence, but not peace of mind. A flight into pleasure. His new life was meant to numb the fear. But he couldn't get the old images out of his mind. His eighth year since Auschwitz. Thanks to generous family donations, Mengele became a partner in the pharmaceutical company Fadro Farm. Free from financial worries, he lived in constant fear of being caught. Kaputt, nicht? Und äh, jedes kleine Geräusch, wo 
guckte er, was es los war. Und das ist eine Sache, die mir die natürlich aufgefallen ist. Nicht? Nie unterhalten, was er getan hat. Dass er, dass er müde war morgens, das steht fest, das vergesse ich nicht. Da saß mir gegenüber und ist manchmal eingeschlafen auf dem Schreibtisch. In 1956, a letter from Germany led Helmut Gregor to resume his true identity. His wife, Irena, wanted a divorce. The doctor of death did not feel threatened and went to the German embassy. He signed the divorce papers in his real name. He was tired of the masquerade and applied for a West German passport. It was treated as routine. There were no charges outstanding against him. His passport photo, the only official evidence of what the doctor of death looked like after the Second World War. Helmut Gregor's name was removed from the phone book. The new entry was in the name of Mengele, with his address. In his own name, the mass murderer booked a journey from Buenos Aires to Switzerland. His plan? A holiday with his son Rolf and Marta Mengele, the widow of his younger brother, Karl. By a roundabout route, Mengele arrived in Europe and finally reached Switzerland. Once again, the family's company secretary, Hans Sedelmeier, had arranged everything. 1957, 12 years since Auschwitz. Eight years after his escape, Mengele was almost back home. First, he went to the smart alpine resort of Engelberg, not far from the German border. Mengele enjoyed the triumph of his return. Nobody here knew who the nice gentleman with the Mercedes really was, even though he was traveling under his real name. After the holiday in Switzerland, Mengele took a big gamble. Return to Günzburg with Hans Sedelmeier. Back home. The moment of truth. Mengele in Germany, legally and unchallenged. After 15 years, back home at last. It was only here that Josef Mengele wanted to propose to his brother's widow, a particular satisfaction to the mass murderer. 13 years since Auschwitz. In 1958, a particularly active group of Auschwitz survivors laid charges against the child murderer. Er hatte Nachrichten von Deutschland. Pass auf, du wirst gesucht. June 1959, an international warrant was issued for Mengele's arrest. The Israeli secret service, Mossad, started its own search. Mengele's passport application from Argentina, it revealed where the hunted man was hiding. And then Eichmann was abducted. Er hat er sein Zelt abgebrochen hier und ist natürlich abgefahren. Wohin, wenn Sie mir jetzt fragen, nicht? Nach dem Norden. Paraguay. Ja. Yeah. The German-born dictator Stroessner gave the doctor of death Paraguayan citizenship. While Stroessner was protecting his compatriot, others were hunting him mercilessly. Und ich habe ihn ja, mindestens ein Jahr lang, gesucht in Südamerika, in, in Montevideo, in, in Chile, in, in Paraguay. Und dann sch sch schließlich durch einen SS-Mann, der 
bereit war, uns zu helfen, sind wir auf seine Fährte gekommen in Brasilien. Aber dann plötzlich wurden wir alle abberufen, um andere Sachen zu tun. Mossad had come so close. The child murderer went unmolested in his new place of exile, Serra Negra in Brazil. Mengele was helped by the Austrian Wolfgang Gerhardt. He saw to it that his protege had somewhere decent to stay, where he tried to drown out his fear in song. But unwelcome memories troubled him more and more. His diary entry for the 18th of June, 1968. My mood is very unstable. I'm frightened. In 1969, the doctor of death moved to Sao Paulo. His last friends, the Bosseth family. Uncle Josef particularly liked to play with the children. The twins in Auschwitz had called Mengele uncle too. One more change of address, the last. Now he went by the name of his benefactor, Wolfgang Gerhardt, who had given his own passport to the doctor of death. Hitler's henchman had now reached retirement age. This is his lover, who was then 25. She would help him forget and sweeten the autumn of his life. Sabe o que acontece? Eu nunca tive um carinho especial de uma pessoa, assim, porque ele não era só, assim, era um, como um amigo mesmo, entende? Porque se eu estava triste, ele falava assim, por que você está triste? O que está acontecendo que você está quieta? Se eu estava alegre, ele estava, olha, hoje você está alegre, o que aconteceu? Quer dizer que uma pessoa que, que se interessava em saber. While the world was hunting the now almost mythical Mengele, the concentration camp doctor was enjoying his weekends on the beach at Bertioga. On February the 7th, 1979, Mengele had a stroke while swimming and died. 34 years after Auschwitz. He was hunted and never caught. His punishment was not discovery, but the fear of discovery.